180 examples from 70 countries. We want to expand it. We need to go further if we're going to make a dent in, um, in climate change in the transport sector. This, the, the launch of the, of the TCC the GSR, the Transport and Climate Change Global Status Report, with following the low carbon trajectory and uh, aggressively implementing 1.5 degree scenario, a small form in the Paris Agreement. The key findings of the new report are that um, that transport emissions continue to increase at, uh, at a global level. So we've increased nearly 30 percent since um, between 2000 and 2015, give or take. And we're seeing, of course, uneven growth in across, across regions. This is, uh, of course, in expected with greater urbanization, with rising GDP um, in a, no a number of regions. It's very exciting to see these 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 policy measures being being taken. At the same time, we see that the transport sector is still falling short of the transformation needed and the emissions reductions needed to reach a 1.5 degree scenario, as called for by the Paris Agreement. In this case, we're looking at the rollout of bike sharing. It doesn't give specific recommendations. It doesn't pick winners. We, we're not advocating for one mode over another, for one solution over another. Um, as I think we all know within the, the climate change process, we really need to use every tool in the belts. Um, to, uh, to use another cliche perhaps, there's not a silver bullet. We need to, we need to use a, a real breadth of solutions.